Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brigitta, and you are watching a video for BB Crafts. BB Crafts was so kind to send me a lot of uh, crafty goodies to play with, and my unboxing video I will link in the description box below. Today we are going to focus on the die set you already see in front of me, and that's a die set that creates uh, a card that can stand on its own. First I'm going to show you the pieces that come in the die set, I'll show you my prototype, and afterwards we are going to make one together. So, this is the die set, and the main piece uh, from this set is this. This creates the base of your card. In the, it, when we are going to make the card together, I'm going to tell you how many times you need uh, to cut out everything. Then you get two dies, these are exactly the same for the layering pieces, and you need a few of those, so it's really handy that you have two of the same ones. And then you get a lot of decoration pieces. Uh, the nice thing about this card is it cuts this circle, so you can make a hanging embellishment here in the card. You will see it in a minute. It is so cute, and you can use so many things to hang there. Uh, with the die set comes a lot of uh, decoration. You get one uh, sentiment die, the happy birthday. It's really wonky. Can you see it? So you cannot... Um, put it straight, it's meant to be wonky, you get a lot of uh, small uh, embellishments like a heart, a mini flower, but also a big flower that is really nice to put here in the middle with its uh, stamens, so cute, a big cupcake that also fits there, really nice if you have a birthday card, a birthday hat, a banner that fits the sentiments and some uh, extra a bigger heart and a bigger star. So that's what we uh, what you get in the die set from Global Land. Today I'm not going to use the flower and I'm not going to use the cupcake for the middle because I want to make an Easter card. I will put this aside and then I will show you uh, my example, my prototype. It's not a difficult card to make, but yeah, I I really wanted to test it out before I did it uh, with you on camera. So yeah, I'll show you the prototype I did. And that's this one. Look, it stands up like this. How cute is that? It's hard to show on camera. Here you see the happy birthday, the wonky one, as I said. And I have a hanging element here of the flower with the stamens. But yeah, you can decorate all the sides. I didn't do that. It's just my prototype. But it stands like this. So really cute. And you have the hanging element here. That you can play with if you want that. So yeah, let's start the base. As I said, this is the base die and you need to cut it out four times. You need four of the base pieces and why is that? Because this will fold in the middle. I will show it to you and afterwards you are going to glue them together. This will be glued like this and so on and so on. We will do that uh, together on camera. So that's this and this one. So there are the four main pieces of your card. But we, we want to decorate it with beautiful pattern paper, of course, like we always do. And therefore you have the two dies. So I already told you the, these are exactly the same, but you need to cut uh, them out. You need eight of those pieces to decorate all the sides. So really handy you have two of the same ones, so you can do that a little bit quicker. So I chose two different papers. I think that's, that's the, the cutest, that you have the front and the back the same paper and the sides. Of course you can use four different papers, you can use just a cardstock and don't decorate it. It's yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's to you. It really is to you or what you like. I use this gorgeous paper from my stash that I uh, received last year in a design team package. I think it's really cute. So I uh, yeah, you will need four of the one paper and then of course also four pieces of the other color or design paper that you want to use. Well, I want to make it an Easter card, as I said. So what I did is I used one of the Easter egg dies that I received from them. I will put my video uh, up here 
from the previous video I did uh, for them with all the Easter dice I made a few cards and uh, I'll show you I show you this uh, set there and it's really really nice uh, it's a uh, nesting Easter egg die set so this one is uh, fits this uh, as well perfectly because I want to use and that's another thing I received from them a beautiful wax seal stamp in uh, on the egg because that's also an Easter one. I show it to you. Look how cute this one is. So yeah, I really really like it, and I did make several of them. I'll show them to you. Look how detailed they are. I think these are so so gorgeous, really beautiful, and I am going to use this one on top of the egg. As the hanging element in our card. So I am going to uh, readjust my light because the sun is getting in and then we are going to put this card together. So let's start putting this one together. I have my glue handy already. That's the Barely Arts Precision Craft Glue. I'm using it for a few weeks now and I'm really happy with it. So what you need to do is uh, first glue your design paper to your card because afterwards it's uh, not easy to do that and you have to do that on the inside so if you fold it like this you glue your pieces on the inside because the outside will be glued together so yeah let's start And um, what you uh, must be aware of, if you are using directional paper, you need to be uh, conscious of how you cut out your paper, because one is facing that way and the other one is facing this way, of course. So you need to mind that. With this it didn't matter, but because here I have the animals on the paper, it does matter. So, so this is what you do, and you glue all the things uh, together. I'm going to do that off camera and I will be back when I'm done because it's so boring to watch. So one minute please. So I'm back. I have all of my pieces ready as you can see and we are going to uh, need to put them uh, together. But what we also need to do at the same time is glue our hanging element on the inside. You can uh, hang your element with several things. With twine, with a chain, it will be bulky, but if you really want it, you can uh, ma manage it. You can also use uh, just some uh, threads or whatever you want. I've got this uh, hemp cord uh, that I really like to use. And uh, this is what I will be putting between my eggs. But first we are going to start with uh, gluing the petals together. What I do is I uh, glue two together, two together. And then we are going to put in the hanging element of uh, yeah of the card so yeah and as i showed in the example what you need to do is you glue one of the sides together you do the same with this one and then you put in your hanging element before you glue everything uh, together all the four pieces together so first we are going to do this one put your glue it's an easy card to make. It's, uh, yeah, you need to die cut several things, as you have seen, but it's not so difficult to uh, put together. So yeah, we are going to put this together, and of course they need to be lined up really well. Look at the other side. Yes, it's okay. You can press it together because that's the nice thing of this card. You can press it together and send it out easily in an envelope. If you are going to decorate it really bulky, yeah, then it doesn't fit and you need to give it in another way. But 
If you keep your embellishments quite flat, then uh, you can put it in an envelope. We are going to do the same thing with this one. Uh, on the sides. And this one we will do like this. Uh, wait, I have to check if then it will be correct. So like this, and then we can... Uh, let's look, let's look. And then we are going to put it together like this, and then we have this there, this, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, I'm going to put glue here. Like this. Really happy with the belly art glue. I don't know why I waited so long to try it out because it's so nice. It dries quick, but not too quick. You have time to adjust your paper or the things that you are going to glue with it. But uh, yeah, it sets afterwards quite quickly so that you can go on with your project. So now we have two of these pieces that we will glue together like this later on. But we need to make our hanging element, of course. This one we are going to uh, fold like this. And here we're going to attach our egg. First we are going to glue them together with the string. What I uh, did on my example is just put this with tape and then glue uh, the two uh, eggs together. Well, on the other one I used the flowers, but I think you know what I mean. I Oh, it's a little bit of too much tape, Brigitte. So yeah, in the middle of course, that it hangs really nice. So I'm going to put it here. And now we are going to glue this and this together for our hanging elements. So cute. Really love the nesting die sets of these uh, Easter eggs. I used them a lot for my Easter and spring crafting uh, last weeks. So yeah, of course, again, we need to line it up really well because you will see both of the sides. when it's hanging in our cart. So, what we are going to do, well, I have a really long string. We uh, will cut it off when we are done with the gluing the cart together, but then you have a little bit of space to find out how you want to hang your, your egg. So I will put it in the seam here and also I use a tape, a tape on it to keep it attached before we are going to glue the panels together. So get it like this. I'm not going to take the liner off. I'm going to glue over it because you can with this glue. And then you have the wiggle room to uh, put the cards neatly together. Otherwise it will already stuck on the... Uh, double-sided tape. So now we need to put our pieces together. Very curious what you think of this uh, die set. I think it makes a really nice different kind of card to give out for several occasions. And now it's a question of gluing white to white. Carefully. Again, try to line it up as good as you can. And the same goes for this. Ooh, it was not lined up really well. It's a little bit tricky. 
Now I think it's okay. Look, we have our cards and our egg is nicely hanging here. So cute. Really sweet. I do. What I like the most is that I see the egg on the side of the yellow paper, but I'm not sure if I can still uh, change that. Yeah, I think I can. Yes. I really like to be the, the nice cute paper in front of it. Well, you have a big string here. We're going to cut it up, of course. Like this, you can put the string back in. And what I did on my example uh, is on the top here, while drying, I used some clamps. I thought that would um, let them be attached better. Well, I'm losing one of my clamps now. So what I did is here in the cross, I did put some clamps and then let it dry like this. So that you get a nice straight cross here on top before we are going to decorate it further on. And the same goes for here. You can also clamp this if you want. So we are going to do that. And then we are going to let it dry and we are going to decorate it up a little bit more. The decoration I will do uh, off camera and I will show it to you when I'm back. Because I have something else to show you. When you are die cutting the panels out, the base panels of the car, you get the big circles, the negative big circles, they fall out of it. And of course, it's really nice to use those as well. I'm not going to throw them out. It's perfectly good white cardstock that I used. So I don't want that. Uh, here they are. Look, you get beautiful big circles that you can use for embellishments or something. So I will uh, do something with those as well. And then if I'm going to if I'm going to show you the card all decorated, I will also show you embellishments that I made with this. So stay tuned for that. I will be back in a minute. So I'm back to show you the end results. It's another evening. I finished decorating it, but then it was uh, already too late to film. So yeah, here's what I did. I decorated the front and the back in the same manner. Here you can see the gorgeous wax seal from BB Craft that I already showed you that I also got from them. And I decorated it with things from my stash. And the other, the other side as well. Another beautiful wax seal. I just love this tree with all the cute Easter eggs. It's perfect for Easter crafting. And I did not decorate the sides. I love the paper and I thought it was decorated enough. So, so you stand it like this, hard to show on camera. And then you can see the hanging element dangle. So yeah, that is my card. The one that we put together, put together, together <laughs> here on the video. But uh, when you die cut out the base card, you get a lot of these circles, the negative of these circles, they fall out. And I didn't want to throw them away because, yeah, they are perfect for embellishments. So what I did is I decided to make some decorated circles with those negative parts. And these are two Easter versions with a cute little Easter basket. And for the Easter basket, I used the base of the cupcake that comes with this die set as well. I showed you in the beginning of the video. I thought it came out so cute as an Easter basket. I filled it up with uh, eggs. Those eggs are from the nesting die set I already showed in my previous videos. And uh, some stickers from my stash as well as some other embellishments that I already had and uh, just decorated it up with the cute Easter sayings. Added my oh, looped beads and some die cuts and some beautiful flower from my stash and some Nouveau drops. This is the other one. Really, really liked how these turned out. They can be put on the cards, on the bag. 
whatever you want. And I made two, well, some Easter versions with things from my stash. This is the first one. So again, the base die uh, for the, or the cutouts, the fallout from the base card. Uh, I did use the flower here that comes in this set as well, that I used in the in my prototype card. I layered it up, silver and beautiful paper. Between the layers I uh, stuck some banners and again the same stickers, some um, leaves from my stash. And these flower centers were gifted to me by my friend Nadeshda a long time ago. They are buttons decorated with a whole lot of uh, sequins. I love this, it's so cute and it matched the colors perfectly. I added this cute little bee charm and some bling, as you can see. Love the bright colors that I used of this paper. So cute. And this is the last one that I did in the same manner. Different center, different colors, but uh, the same layout and a different dangle. So yeah, that are all the projects that I made with this die set from BB Craft to make this standing card and you can see all the extras uh, you can use uh, on dec uh, as decorations on other projects as well. So I hope you got a little bit of inspiration from this video. I will put the link to the, the card die in the description box below so that you can check it out as well as the link from the wax seal uh, and my unboxing video. And I want to remind you, if you uh, want to order on their website, use my code MIX10. Then you get 10% uh, of your order, of your whole order, at the end uh, when you are going uh, to the the cash, the cash when you got to pay. Yeah, that's the right word. When you uh, are going to pay and you put in my coupon code, you will get 10% off. That's what I wanted to say. So I want to thank you for watching and I hope you will be back for my next video. Bye for now.